hello everyone so today we have a video request one of our friend and subscriber Kalyan Mondal he wants to know how to post invoice for two different vendors in a single PO so in today's video we will discuss about that scenario so that scenario or that situation is possible with delivery cost planned delivery cost we can be able to post the good um, we can be able to post the invoice to two different vendors through planned delivery costs so let's say how to do that so for that first we have to make one of our vendor as a transportation vendor so for that we need to go to xk02 here we have our vendor so here we can select partner function and here select ok then here in partner function you have to select one of your vendor as a freight service agent so here we have taken freight service agent as oav1 ordering address so this is by default we have created before so that's why we have taken this but if you need to create a new vendor you can create a new freight service vendor and you can assign here in partner function so we have already defined the partner function as oav1 number is oav1 and the partner function is fs so let's see in purchase order how to post the goods or post the invoice to this freight service agent so for that we need to go to slash n me 21n so in me 21n let's say we will we will go to rfq and we will enter our existing rfq so here let's say we will enter the required details we have to enter it and uh, here let's say our date we need to enter so here in condition tab we need to go to condition tab here you can see there is condition type pbxx and skto so we have to create one more condition type that is frc1 and here let's say amount is one rupees per piece so here you can see there is a freight of one rupees per piece is there so you need to click on this condition type then you have to click on details here the vendor is by default it is selected as our main vendor so here we have to select oav1 so click enter then go back then save the document so here our purchase order has been created so let's go to migo then post the goods issue for this purchase order so here let's say select our purchase order number enter in uh, material tab we have to select the date of manufacture where tab we have to select the storage location and purchase order data we have to evaluate the shipping instruction so here let's say item ok and post so our document has been posted now we have to do the invoice receipt so for that we need to go to miro so in miro we have to post the invoice date and here we have to enter the PO number so first we have to select as goods and service items so then click enter so here in payment tab so here in payment tab we have to select the baseline date the next go to basic data tab here let's calculate tax so here our total amount is coming copy it and let's go to basic data tab and paste it enter it now let's simulate so here you can see 
the GL account for our vendor has been debited of total value what we have entered and here our goods and uh, invoice received account has been debited thousand rupees and here sorry credited thousand rupees and here input tax clearing account has been credited 50 rupees so let's post it so our document has been posted so now we have to enter the invoice for our freight charges so for that we need to enter the invoice state then let's enter the same PO number here and we have to select plan delivery cost so here enter now so here the quantity is coming as 100 and the amount is coming as 100 only so we have given 1 rupees per piece so we have to click calculate tax here we have to enter the baseline date then in basic tab we have to calculate tax so here we can copy the total amount and post it here enter it now click on simulate so here you can see the GL account has been triggered for the freight vendor which we have selected in our PO so that is coming as ordering address for Minda so this account has been debited 105 rupees and our freight clearing account has been credited 100 rupees and input tax clearing account has been credited with 5 rupees so let's post this so our document has been created so we have created two doc documents for a single purchase order so that's how you can post goods um, so that's how you can post invoice for two different vendors for a single PO if you want to give the freight to a different vendor then that is possible in plan delivery cost so you can do that here so I hope this clears your doubt so let's meet on next class till then thank you bye bye and take care